Good morning, my dear children. Discipline is the first thing in life of a student to achieve success. It means to get good marks in maths, you need to practice it daily. While practicing, if you find any difficulties for that particular exercise, watch the videos again and again. Understand the sum and then solve it. In this video, I am going to explain exercise 1H, page number 35, take out from your textbook. In this video, page number 35, 1H. In this video, we are going to learn about 10 just before and 10 just after. Afterwards, I will be telling you shortly how will you decide what to write where. But now, now you have to understand why it comes like that. Fine. Tens means you have to notice tens place. Suppose a number uh, 7, 6, 86. Fine. So, you have to notice always tens place. Tens place will start from 7, 80. 7, Now, 10 just before. Just before, this is the number. So, where is the number? This is the number. So, it is in this line. Just before, if anybody will ask you, you have to write 10 just before. That means the starting number you have to write. And just after, that means the ending number you have to write. Okay. Suppose in this line, any other number, uh, you write just before, 10 just before of 7, 80, 8. 7, 80, 8 is where? Here. Just before means the starting number is 7, 80. And just after means starting number, uh, sorry, ending number 7, 90. Now... Another example I'm giving you, um, 563, okay, so which number we, this is 63, 1 stands, stands place 63, that means 60, from 60 we will start 5, 60, 5, 61, 5, 62, 5, 5, 64, 5, 69, 5, 70. Fine. Now 5, 63. Tens before means first number. Tens after means last number. So for that, 5, 63. For the number of 5, 63. Tens before means, tens before means 560 and tens after means 5, what? 70. Another example, suppose number is 748. So, what will be your tens before? Here you noticed, I think, in tens place, ones, tens, tens place, the number is, the digit is same. You have to put only one zero in ones place. But in uh, just after, 
in tens place you have you are adding one that is next number six then seven and put one zero in ones place so here also we are going to say seven will be remaining seven in tens place four that four i'll i'll be writing and then zero here this four will become five just after so seven five zero another example um, six twenty four so what i have to notice first thing ones tens tens place tens place will remain same i have to put zero in ones place again tens place for after three then zero i think you have understood this how to find 10 10 just before and 10 just after now we will be doing 100 just before and 100 just after Hundred just before, suppose um, three hundred twenty-six. This is the number. I'll be writing here three hundred twenty-six. Three hundred twenty-six. So ones, tens, hundreds. From where it will start? From three hundred it will start. Three hundred. Three hundred one. Three hundred two. Okay. So like that. Then again. It will come 320, 321, 322, 323, 324, 325, 326. Then like same if you write like 392. 393, 394, 399, then 400. Like that. Okay, I have not written the numbers. This is the continuation of the numbers. Okay, I just gave, if I am going to write all 100 numbers, then uh, it will take much time and it will take much space also. Anyways, so now our number which we have got, this is this 326 now in tens place 10 before what you have learned just you have to write the first number this is the first number and what is the last number this is the last number okay so, in that case, if you uh, 100 just before of this number, you have to write 300. And 100 just after, 100 just after of this number, that is 400. Okay. Now, we will be doing more ex examples. Suppose, uh, this is 326, suppose, anyways. Now, suppose 431. So, 431, what we have to check in tens place. Here, 10 just before, that. then we checked where tens place. Now, it is 100 just before, so I'll be checking hundreds place. Ones, tens, hundreds, that is 4. So, 4 will be remaining 4 and rest 2 will be 0. In zero, 1's place and 10's place, we will be putting 0. And this side, 1's, 10's, 
hundred. So hundreds place we will be writing the next number, next digit. Next digit means plus one. So four plus one is five. Five hundred. Suppose uh, more seven hundred twenty three. So in this case, one stands hundreds. So seven hundred. One stands hundred, so seven will be eight hundred. Now, suppose it is not given in your uh, textbook. Suppose I'm giving one four-digit number. Suppose one, two, three, four. Okay. Now, one stands hundreds. In hundreds place, you have to be. You when you are checking, so you have to write the same number, same digit that is two. 0 0 and this will be always same like this and this we will change here to in place of 2 we will be writing so like that it will not come because it is not there in your uh, book still I have explained to you okay suppose one more ex example 924 oh, sorry 900 24 so 924 one stands hundreds so 900 again one stands hundred nine will be nine will be I'm adding nine one with nine so it will become ten and rest to zero zero got it so we will be solving in your book as well as whatever examples I have given you now worksheets so that you will be solving in your notebook thank you be happy